let's go cranes that i suspect will be the familiar battle cry from cranes fans here at the mandela national stadium tomorrow uganda trail table topping ghana by four points in group e and have it all to do if they are to qualify for the 2015 africa cup of nations of course just to remind you the top two sides in the group automatically qualify for the afcon finals Here's my colleague Robert Madoy on what we should expect from the host Uganda tomorrow. For exactly a decade, Cranes players have gotten accustomed to walking out of the dressing rooms behind me with the stadium's reputation as a fortress intact. That won't be the case tomorrow. Togo broke the hearts of Cranes fans here at Nambole last month. Cranes players will be hoping that lightning doesn't strike twice when they take on a Ghana side against whom they have a decent record. It was in that goal that Donao Kokou ghosted past Godfrey Walusimbi to score a goal that not only ripped apart the hearts of Crane fans, but also of the goal net. Walusimbi, who was guilty on that occasion, won't play a part in tomorrow's match because of accumulated yellow card. Treasurer right back, Dennis Iguma out of the game. The Cranes could spot new fullbacks in tomorrow's match. That though isn't the biggest storyline. After two years in the wilderness, prodigal son Mike Serumaga will be anxious to find out if indeed he makes the final grade. Abantu ba subira mu chinene ne ngeli jema dembuze chitegeza ba dembuze mwa kumune chitungu kuna shono team. Eda chitegeza dino kuongera koko kusinzira wali wenali dino kuongera koko kusinga koko wali wenali. We must to take the chance. This country has failed 18 times. This is 19 time chance still in front of us. Uh, that chance is in 180 minutes of football. And as I told, I believe in work I'm doing, I believe in players we are having available. Father Field, an ankle injury Unis Center Mo picked up in training means he faces a late fitness test. Daniel Serunkuma and Robert Sentongo will be waiting in the wings should Center Mo be deemed not fit. Needless to say, Goals will be vitally important for the Cranes as they seek to qualify for the big time for the first time since 1978. So there you had it. Uganda will have to navigate its way past a couple of high-profile absentees. The Ghanaians will have absentees of their own. Four-time African champions touched down at Entebbe International Airport in the wee hours of today morning. My colleague Alfred Odong has been keeping an eye on them. On the evening of the 2015 AFCON qualifier, Ghana have pulled a surprise here as Samoa Gian, who was expected not to appear in this game, being part of the team training and seemingly looking in good shape. Gian, who has scored 45 goals for the team, has indeed given the team a lifeline. It's going to be a difficult game for us, away from home, but uh, we are here to, to try and make our nation smile, try and qualify. Ghana Black Stars arrived in the wee hours in the morning, rejecting a Grand Imperial Hotel and settling for a five-star Serena Hotel and will be hoping to replicate the same status of performance against the Uganda Cranes here at Nambol tomorrow. Alfred Odong, NTV Weekend Sport. Thanks, Alfred. Now this is where Maxwell Konadu, Ghana's interim coach, will direct traffic from. He may or may not be with the two Asamoas, Gian and Quadro, who have scored just under 50 goals between them. We spoke to Konadu after the Blackstars' light training here at Nambole, and this is what he had to say. We know that uh, it's going to be a very, very difficult match. We know that our opponents have prepared so well, and uh, we have also prepared. So I think the fans will enjoy a very beautiful match tomorrow. We all know that uh, Ghana is on top of the summit and uh, the Ugandans will also try to at least also come up. And matches between these two teams hasn't been easy, 
in Kumasi, we had it very, very difficult with them. But we know that tomorrow with the team spirit in camp, we are very sure that we're going to make uh, Ghana smile. Several miles away in the Togolese capital of Lome, the Togo Hawks and Elephants of Guinea will face off. Togo used identical 1-0 wins over Uganda to catapult to second on the table. Will they be able to make it three in a row? Well, be sure to get that result and more in our subsequent bulletins. I'm afraid we have to leave it at that. From myself and the crew, it's good night and goodbye.